with social media and everything being so new, people are scared to be themselves. And it's a shame. Because everybody's trying to improve their lives as you should. It's exactly what you should do. But it should not come at a cost of being true to you. Get that. That's first and foremost. That's what, one, that's what people are going to relate to. But two, that's when you look back on, you're going to feel proud about. When you get that money, that money comes regardless, okay? When you get it, and that's that's one thing about having money. You realize that, man, as long as I was consistent, I was going to get it anyway. So then you start to think about, well, how do I feel about the money I made? Should I have made this differently? Did I screw people over? At least if you have a heart, if you have a good you know code of ethics that's how you'll be thinking some people are selfish we don't want to relate to those people you do want to know how they think because you want to understand being a realist what type of people are out there but at the same time you don't want to relate with those people you don't want to let those thoughts get in your head because at the end of the day if you're a good genuine true person let that be you there's not enough of that in the world anymore. And I believe that there is because I connect with people all the time. But I think people are just worried about what's going to come back to them. And the truth is you're never going to find out if you don't try. you got to learn to break down these barriers. Honestly, most of us at some point or another, we were trapped around negativity. And when we're trapped around negativity makes us constrict and confined and it stops us from being our natural selves it takes away from our essence our energy our glow everything that you don't want is what it does where you know we're humans where we learn from other humans and when you're learning bad behaviors bad traits is going to teach you to live a bad life and that's not what you want so at the end of the day you can learn things about money from people that make money that aren't necessarily people you relate ethically with but understand that you don't want to learn ethics from that person okay you can learn different things from different people in fact i encourage you to do just that but understand what you're learning and who you're learning from because those are two things that you want to have answered before you just go accepting information it's a good thing to learn it's a good thing to believe that you can learn anything from anybody but at the same time look at people and see what's desirable from them before you just go taking information i see it all the time in the financial world people are like oh i saw it on social media this is going to be two dollars I'm trading at two cents and my whole point is you know just because somebody wants it to be two dollars doesn't mean that there's any real education or that there's any real backing behind that opinion you just saw that information and you clung to it because you want it to be two dollars which is actually one of the biases we have to where you know you see what you want and you envision it and then you stop taking other information in so you don't want to cling to those biases you know you just you want to go on through life and do so being a open honest normal person and i don't mean normal as in what today's normal is i mean normal is in you what's normal to you if you can go out and you can regularly just be yourself how you are with your best friend see me i have a bit of a hard come up i have a bit of a hard heartwarming story because at the end of the day i lost two brothers in the same year a couple years ago and those were my best friends those were my everything so after losing them the only thing that really gives me peace of mind nowadays is connecting with you because at the end of the day we connected being real genuine people and I lost a lot of that in my life when I lost them. And instead of going and finding new random people to cling to after I lost my closest two people over the same six months, 
I decided I'm going to go online and I'm going to teach our values, our family's values, the things that matter to us, that made us stick together, that made other people want to be around us and learn from us. And that's, you know, what I love to give y'all. But at the end of the day, what I'm telling you with this is that being yourself is how you're going to really get what you want out of life. Because if you're trying to be anyone else you're not going to be that person as efficiently as you can be if you're being yourself and you're raw and you're real and you're giving the world you then at the end of the day there's never going to be a better you than you